City leaders extend the Portland Police Union contract in a move some are calling disappointing and a missed opportunity to enact change. It is 11 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. Now, Jenny Young going beyond the headlines tonight, talking with the leader of Portland's NAACP about why he's actually okay with this decision. Jenny? Well, that's right, Jeff. He says he does trust the city, count, the city commissioner's decision, has faith in Ted Wheeler. He says these will, reforms will come eventually and ask that people uh, just continue uh, pushing for them peacefully. In a unanimous vote on Wednesday morning, the city extended its contract with Portland Police Association for one more year. I can tell you that this is the very first time, to my knowledge, in the history of the city of Portland, that the entire city council actually took a position on how we would negotiate this contract. Portlanders spoke their minds. However, I disagree with the hasty renewal of the Portland Police Association collective bargaining contract with tens of thousands of Portlanders in the streets supporting and demanding reform. We're missing a valuable opportunity to leverage that public support for bringing maximum demands to the bargaining table. Due to COVID-19, the council decided to push negotiations with the police union to January 2021. Mayor Wheeler and commissioner said it's better to negotiate with union representatives and take comments from the public in person. Commissioner Joanne Hardesty assured people major reform is on the horizon. The entire city council is committed to making sure that this new contract is a lot different than the old contracts. Many people advocating for changes in police policies hoped those changes would come sooner and were frustrated by today's decision. And in times like this, we can't be afraid and we can't fall apart. I sat down with Amidi Mondane, a pastor, local business owner, and president of Portland's NAACP. He believes today's decision will be better in the long run. We need to probably trust and accept the council's decision and spend the next year thoughtfully accomplishing a, a true system-wide changes uh, to how the um, Portland Police Bureau really operates. I did reach out to the police union. They did not want to do an interview and said they did not have a statement ready. And Commissioner Hardesty did pen an open letter tonight to uh, Mayor Wheeler and uh, Portland Police Chief Chuck Lavelle um, asking or demanding uh, certain things before these reforms are made. One of those things is uh, the way police approach uh, protesters that she does not want uh, police to use rubber bullets or tear gas anymore for a list of those other demands posted that letter on coin.com reporting live tonight jenny young coin six news and there's more to